Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Monday 26th of November. I'm recording this video quarter to six in the evening New York time on Monday the 26th New York time. Here is our daily wave count which sees a big trend change up here at primary degree. We're within a new downwards trend we have a series of overlapping first and second waves. So we haven't moved into the middle of the third wave yet. So we have pink or minute one, an expanded flat for two, and within three, one, two, within three green, one, two, and within three orange, one, two. I think this deep second wave correction has one more session or part of next session. We'll probably see a trend change tomorrow. And then the start of the middle of the third wave will begin. We should see an increase in downwards momentum beginning tomorrow and towards the middle of the week moving into very strong downwards momentum. Our targets remain exactly the same and they are still months away. The invalidation point is important, it remains exactly the same. Any movement above this invalidation point would put this trend change up here in serious doubt. Movement above this invalidation point would leave this downwards movement with a very clear corrective wave count of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At that stage, I would suspect that we have not had a trend change and we may be in a new upwards trend, so that's an important invalidation point. Let's have a look at what happened in Monday's session on the hourly chart where the low for wave 1 purple down here is this low down here. This new upwards trend, this deep second wave correction, has a 5 up for an A wave, an expanded flat, a 3 down for a B wave, and we need a 5 up to complete for a C wave. It can't be over here, that's an impulsive wave count, this is a correction, so we need one more final upwards wave to end it. On the 5 minute chart, this upwards movement to end Monday's session is an incomplete impulse and it looks like it's just moving into the third wave. So I would expect tomorrow's session for Tuesday to start with a little bit stronger upwards movement and extremely likely to make a new high beyond the end of 3 red. At 1411, wave 5 red would reach equality in length with wave 1 red. I expect price is pretty likely to keep on going up through the first target. At 1420, wave 5 red would reach a quality length with 3 red, and 1421, C aqua would reach a quality length with wave A aqua, so the second target, calculated at 2 wave degrees, has a slightly higher probability. I've redrawn this channel using Elliott's technique, it wasn't containing all this movement. And this was outside and below the channel, but it's trending upwards and it's hesitant. I don't expect that that's a clear channel breach. So I've redrawn the channel as a best fit around this upwards movement. When we see some strong, clear downwards movement breaching this channel to the downside, we'll have a pretty strong indication that the second wave correction would be over and the third wave down would then be underway. I expect we will see a trend change probably during tomorrow's session after a little bit more upwards movement. It looks like that second wave correction is incomplete on the five minute chart that last little piece of upwards movement can't be a truncated fifth wave because it doesn't subdivide into a complete impulse. It has a corrective wave count so far we need more upwards movement before that second wave is complete. It'll probably end tomorrow and look out for some strong downwards movement beginning tomorrow, increasing in momentum towards the middle of the week. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis and I hope members had a really great weekend.